You cannot truly listen to anyone and do anything else at the same time. I'm Scott Peck, author of The Road Less Traveled. Listening is an important skill in all areas of life, whether you're supporting a loved one through health problems, dealing with colleagues or in family relationships. But most of us aren't as good at listening as we'd like to think. When we show we're really listening, it's much more rewarding. Active listening is not a passive engagement, it's an active participation in the dialogue, a conscious effort to grasp not just the words spoken, but the sentiments concealed within. It's akin to a painter scrutinizing every brushstroke to unveil the essence of a masterpiece. By truly listening, we unlock the gateway to another person's thoughts, emotions, and perspectives, fostering a deeper connection that transcends the surface level of discourse. The first facet of active listening lies in the attentive focus on the speaker. In our fast-paced lives, attention is a scarce commodity, often divided among myriad distractions. Active listening demands a deliberate choice to allocate undivided attention to the person expressing themselves. It is a silent commitment to be present in the moment, to set aside the clamor of our internal monologue and external disturbances, and to genuinely immerse ourselves in the speaker's narrative. Building on this foundation, the second element of active listening involves nonverbal cues. Our bodies speak a language of their own, and attentive gestures, facial expressions, and posture can amplify the message of understanding. Picture a conversation where the listener's eyes convey sincerity, their nods affirm comprehension, and their posture radiates openness. These unspoken signals echo louder than words, fostering an environment of trust and mutual understanding. The third dimension of active listening is the art of paraphrasing. It's more than mere repetition, it's a thoughtful reconstruction of the speaker's words, demonstrating a genuine effort to internalize and interpret their message accurately. By paraphrasing, we signal to the speaker that their words have not fallen on deaf ears, but have been carefully absorbed and considered. This simple yet powerful technique bridges the gap between communication and comprehension, transforming a dialogue into a shared exploration of thoughts. Beyond the mechanics of attentive focus, nonverbal cues, and paraphrasing, the true essence of active listening lies in emotional intelligence. It is the ability to tune into the emotions embedded in the speaker's words, and respond with empathy. In the vast tapestry of human emotions, active listening becomes the loom that weaves threads of understanding, compassion, and connection. It transcends the superficial exchange of information, nurturing an environment where individuals feel heard and valued. Active listening, as a transformative force, extends beyond individual interactions into the realm of conflict resolution. In moments of discord, it serves as the compass guiding us through the labyrinth of differing perspectives. By actively listening to conflicting viewpoints, we unearth common ground and pave the way for constructive dialogue. It's a tool that disarms hostility and replaces it with a shared commitment to finding solutions. In professional settings, the impact of active listening reverberates through improved collaboration and heightened productivity. When team members feel genuinely heard, a culture of innovation and creativity blossoms. The workplace transforms into a fertile ground for diverse ideas, where active listening becomes the cornerstone of effective leadership, empowering individuals and fostering a sense of unity within the organizational fabric. Active listening is not just about hearing words, it's about understanding the soul behind those words. The power of active listening lies in its simplicity. And yet, it's a skill that requires practice and dedication. Today, we're delving into 10 tips that will not only enhance your ability to listen actively, but also enrich your relationships and foster a deeper understanding of the world around you. First and foremost, cultivate the art of silence. Too often, we're quick to fill gaps in conversation with our own thoughts, eager to share our perspective. But true active listening begins with silence. Give the speaker the space they need to express themselves fully. Let the pregnant pauses linger and allow the words to settle. Tip number two. Maintain eye contact. It's a universal language that communicates engagement and interest. 
Eyes are windows to the soul, and when you lock eyes with someone, you're not just observing, you're connecting. Eye contact says, I see you, and I'm here with you. Moving on to the third tip, resist the urge to interrupt. It's natural to want to interject with our thoughts or experiences, but active listening demands restraint. Let the speaker finish their thoughts before you jump in. Remember, your turn will come, and your words will carry more weight when they follow respectful pause. Tip number four involves nodding and other nonverbal cues. These subtle gestures signal that you're tuned in and processing what's being shared. A gentle nod or a thoughtful expression can be as eloquent as words, conveying your presence and understanding. Fifth on our list is the power of paraphrasing. Take a moment to rephrase what you've heard in your own words. This not only demonstrates that you're actively engaged, but also allows for clarification. It's a simple yet effective way to confirm your comprehension and show the speaker that you're invested in their message. Moving forward, tip number six advocates for empathy. Active listening requires you to step into the speaker's shoes to feel what they feel. Seek to understand their emotions and respond with compassion. Empathy bridges the gap between mere hearing and true comprehension. Seventh on our journey of active listening is the art of asking open-ended questions. These queries invite more than a simple yes or no response, encouraging the speaker to elaborate and share more of their thoughts. Open-ended questions stimulate meaningful conversation and foster a deeper connection. Our eighth tip encourages the practice of avoiding judgment. Active listening is about creating a safe space for expression. When you suspend judgment, you open the door for honesty and vulnerability. Remember, everyone's story is unique, and your role is to understand, not to critique. Tip number 9 emphasizes the importance of being present. In a world where distractions abound, being fully present is a gift. Put away your phone, turn off the TV, and eliminate any potential interruptions. Show the speaker that they have your undivided attention. Finally, our tenth and last tip underscores the significance of practice. Active listening is a skill that develops over time. Be patient with yourself as you hone this ability. Challenge yourself to apply these tips consistently, and watch as your relationships blossom with newfound depth and understanding. My dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry, James 1.19. Of all the skills of leadership, listening is the most valuable and one of the least understood. Most captains of industry listen only sometimes, and they remain ordinary leaders. But a few, the great ones, never stop listening. That's how they get word before anyone else of unseen problems and opportunities. Peter Nulty, Fortune Magazine. By embracing silence, maintaining eye contact, resisting interruptions, utilizing non-verbal cues, paraphrasing, empathizing, asking open-ended questions, avoiding judgment, being present, and practicing consistently, you'll not only become a masterful active listener, but also contribute to a world where genuine connection flourishes. Subscribe to Common Wealth of Sci and click on the notification bell and leave your comments, as we would like to hear from you. Stay blessed.